Hello and welcome to DNS Ranch, day four of the quarantine. <laughs> uh, we're going a little mad here. <laughs> a little stir crazy, maybe? Possibly. I mean, we do. We are able to get outside, but. I am going to show you something exciting though, so hold on just a moment. All right, we've got some exciting, can you see those? Look at our sprouts. Got another one poking up there. We've got our um, little starter pots over here. Uh, these are the herbs. I went ahead and planted some herbs. I don't know if we're gonna do very good with these, but. Here they are. I don't see anything sprouting on them yet. But look at those. Yay. Those are both broccoli, lettuce, lettuce. Nothing there yet. But, but that's exciting nonetheless. Um, so just like a happy little woo, something's going on. We also have over here. I planted a sunflower, and there's nothing going on with it yet, so just trying to get all the plants in the windows so that everything is able to get lots of sunshine, and for right now, that's our update. My little banana plant is sprouting a little bit more. Uh, but right now, we're just making lunch. Bentley's eating his lunch. And we'll check in with you here a little bit later. Maybe we'll have some fun animal videos we can do or something. I don't know. But we'll see you in a little bit. Here we go. Here's here's a, a, a cooking tip. Um, if you are eating a lot of ramen noodles and you want to kind of spice them up, what I've done today is I've taken a can of tuna, my ramen noodles. This is chicken flavor so I don't know exactly how well that's gonna go in the tuna um but we did tuna chicken flavored ramen noodles a little bit of water a little mozzarella cheese and some sriracha so so we're gonna try this ramen chicken with tuna mozzarella cheese and sriracha It's not bad. So, if you're looking to, oh, <laughs> if you're looking to spice up some ramen noodles and you've got some tuna, mozzarella cheese, and sriracha on hand, it's not bad. So, a little cooking quarantine, quarantine cooking with DNS Ranch. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Bentley, what are you doing? Making hella fresh. Are you really? How cool is that? What kind of hello fresh are you making? A burger. A burger. Cool. Are you excited? Kind don't, of. Don't look at him. <laughs> Woo! As a side note, we are not sponsored by HelloFresh, but if you are looking for something to be <laughs> delivered that's fresh to your house, at least for right now, yay! <laughs> All right, guys, that is up for the updates today. Um, kind of giving you a little look at what we've been doing. Hopefully, everyone is doing good out there, and you, if you have kids at home, they're not going stir crazy and about to lose their minds and make you lose your mind as well. Um, we've had to set like a schedule for Bentley and hopefully if you have young children that are at home, they're doing well. And, um, I think for us, Bentley has been spending a lot of time outside, which is great for him. It's great for the animals because the animals are, playing and they're running and they're having a good time he goes out and makes sure they're all doing okay throughout the day the dogs have been out and able to 
hang out with us all day. They love that. And the cat's been out and loving that too. Anyways, um, we hope that you guys are having a great day. We hope you're still staying safe. And we will look forward to updating you on our quarantine activities tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have more sprouts. Um, that would be very awesome if we do. And then because it's the weekend, we'll probably be doing some more outdoor activities. I keep looking outside. Um thinking about all the things that we could do outside so hopefully it's warmer tomorrow I don't think it's supposed to be but we may be outside anyways um we love you guys we hope you're having a good and safe time and we will see you hopefully tomorrow